Well, have you ever bought something on eBay and then really wished you hadn't? This is one of those. Um, basically, I've behind me, the thing making a noise is the ML350 Generation 6, which I've got running. That's the main computer at the moment because the laptop kind of died. Um, and I need some heat sinks and some other bits and pieces out of it because they seem to be charging like 20 quid for a heat sink. And you know, I thought spare power supplies to come in handy. And I saw HP ML350 and it looks kind of similar. Um, I don't know, the way the drives are laid out, it looked kind of similar. Just, and the way the um, inside looks on the picture. But no, this is an ML350 Generation 5 and that's a totally different can of fish. So what we got here, first time I've opened this, there we go, lever lifts up. Well, I do not roughly know what's inside here, which is why I'm not too happy. Um, for a start, we've got, I mean, you know, my mistake, I bought it, pressed pay, and that was it. That's, um, you know, the way it goes, unfortunately. Um, so we have three PCIe, <laughs> I thought they were going to be X8, they're X4. X freaking 4, yeah, seriously. Uh, <laughs> and let's see, we've got two Xeons, this can take two quad core socket 771 Xeons. Yeah, as opposed to two 6 core 1366 uh, Xeons like the Generation 6 can. There's a battery for a ray controller right there. Not sure how this lifts up. Oh, okay, you sort of. That seems like it's going to be hard to do on camera. What kind of memory we got in here? Come on. Oh, it opens unexpectedly like that. Interesting. Uh, so I was told it had three gigs of RAM, which is going to be mean it's mismatched modules if that's the case. <laughs> Five twelve megabytes. It's getting worse, dude. It's getting worse. What's the next one? I can see that's a five twelve. That's a five twelve. So presumably this one should be one gig. It doesn't look like it. Oh no! Yes, it is. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that can stay there for all I care. Um, we have three 72 gigabyte SAS drives. Oh blimey, they're actually the full size ones. What the? What? In the picture they look like your little mini SAS, but no, these are your full size 15,000 15, RPM. Back when that was a thing, before solid state drives were common in enterprise, they are getting common now. There's another one, yeah. I'm not going to mix them up because, well, I think this might have an operating system on it. Don't know. Can't remember. I think it comes with something like Windows 7 or something like that. So, yeah, it's for testing purposes, or maybe an old edition of Windows Server, who knows. Um, so yeah, it's a bit of fun to play around with, but yeah, I paid £60 for this, and technically it was £60 too much. This isn't going to be useful for what I, you know, what the other one's useful for, which is editing video and such. So, yeah. <laughs> Anyone really wants this thing for 60 quid? Let me know. If you're subscribed, I'll sell it to you for 50 That concludes this video. <laughs> Actually, no, it doesn't. We haven't looked at the power supplies. So it does, I think, take the same. Yeah, maybe not, they feel a bit different. I'm not going to be yanking the other one out. Stay on the end? Yeah, no, they are different. 800 watt. But if these do fit the other machine, then it's well worth it. There's two of them, so that could be the case. I mean, you could argue that 800 watt power supplies are worth it on their own for other hobby projects and stuff. Because you only need one, so I could nick one to run the IMAX over there. But yeah, these, yeah, I don't know. 60 quid, it's in really good condition, it comes with the rails and all that kind of stuff, although I don't have a server rack. Um, so yeah, 60 quid's not too bad, but you can get um, better systems for that. But never mind, that concludes this video. Remember to read the listing description is the moral of the story. <laughs> See you later.